Biscuit bopping, dooping, dooping, bopping, dooping, dooping, hagen. Woo! What's up, bitches? Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode seventy-three. Look what, look what I got on. You recognize? You fucking recognize? Huh? What about now? Oh. Who is it? It's a person. I'm honestly not even, like, the biggest fan of Mr. Beast. But I do like this sweater design. It's very, very nice. Um. Why are you asking? Why did I buy a Mr. Beast sweater? I can't, I I just like the look of it. That's all. Andy's Andy's an alright dude. I don't mind his videos. I really don't. Um, fuck you. That's not how you spell it. I don't mind his sweaters. But it, what really convinced me to buy this was his video he did in the, in the... Where he bought everything out of the supermarket. He just kept promoting that shit over and over again. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. And I did. I most definitely did. And you know what? I like it. It's actually comfy. It's falling apart already, though. I just pulled the thread off. No, I think it's decent quality. I mean, it's fucking... I paid enough goddamn money for the, for the thing. I mean, Jesus. Well, it's pretty cool. I like it. And you know what? I think I'm going to start buying a bunch of, uh, of, of, the merch, merchandise from other YouTubers. And, uh, wear them. Oh, I got a burp coming and it just won't, it won't come out. So, uh, if you've been watching, which you haven't been, but if you have, which you haven't been, um, I was supposed to get some stuff to get my audio interface working and, you know, so I could actually use this microphone over here. Let me show you. See it? You see that shit? Okay. And I've tried everything in the goddamn books, okay? I've got two audio interfaces. Neither one of them work with this mic. I got a new cable. Doesn't work. I actually got three different cables. None of them work. I bought a USB power hub because I thought the phantom power needed to supply to the mic needed more juice than what is produced through the main USB in the computer. So I bought the, the hub and plugged her in, still didn't work, and it doesn't work in the other fucking audio interface either, so I'm thinking I might have fried the bitch somehow. So I gotta do some more research and see if I can fix it, which I probably can't. I'm gonna have to get a new goddamn microphone. <laughs> I don't want to do because I want to use this one I want to I want to use it I never got to use it yet like if my memory suits me right I've had this thing for well over three years now I think I'm not picking I'm scratching I'm not picking I'm scratching anyway I've had this mic for over three years when I first got it I'm pretty sure it worked for like 10 minutes and then something happened but why would it be so goddamn delicate you know like why would it fucking zippity doo dah blow up right away it's gotta be the fucking mind it's gotta be and the only real way to know is if I get another mic that is uh, 
I can use the XLR cable with. Grab another mic. And then, if that mic works, then I know this Samson piece of shit, fucking bullshit, is broken. And it has nothing to do with the interface. God damn. God damn. For years I was thinking it was the interface, but nope. It's the goddamn microphone. Oh well, what do you do? Can you hear the air conditioner? I hope not. Hold on. I gotta check the levels! Test, test. Okay, no, you can't. You can't even hear the air conditioning. That's so cool! David! Good job on the AC! David's a friend of mine. Strawberry flavor. Oh, 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 shit. I gotta be careful. Not to make too many dra drastic moves. Because it is... And what what's the temperature? It's 27 degrees. Ooh! I should... Oh, that just gave me an idea. I gotta write that idea down. I gotta write... Wait, what does this say? Huh? I'm just looking at the list here. Oh, I better write that idea down before I forget it. Um... I'm sorry, I can't write and talk. I can't write and talk. Now I can. Um, what does this mean? What? What does that mean? Ah, I hate that. When you write something down and you're like, oh, I'll know what that means when I read it. I'll know what that means. I don't have a fucking clue what this means. It says write theme of show for title. What did I mean by that? Theme. Theme? I have no fucking idea. Oh, I also got a friggin' miniature tripod for me, me cellular device. And I'm utilizing it right now. And I can see the California Reefer Bear has his head chopped off. That's fine. Happens way too often. It's hard to get a good angle on this desk. It's either too high or too low. And this is the good spot here. Because my head's not right at the top of the screen, but it's not way down here, which I know in some in some podcasts it was. And I can't tell you how many times I've lowered and raised this fucking California reefer to satisfy the camera angle and I mean right now it's really low you can't tell but it's it's the lowest it's ever been right now and the bear's head is still cut off I could literally cover that whole little nature scene that's underneath it and the mushrooms they're kind of cut off but not really I got a bunch of junk over there so, you can look at that. Boxes. Boxes? Foxes. Huh? Um, we don't have a lot to talk about today. David! Um. Well, we don't. I'll jump, I'll jump into some things here. It is freak, oh, that's what I was gonna do, Jesus. 
God damn it, I'm all over the place today. Hold the hold the phone here. Boo! So what was what was I saying? I can't be too rambunctious in the sweater because it's fucking twenty seven degrees outside. Salkius, which is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know some of y'all out there are in hot climates and you're thinking, that's nothing. That's not Okay, all right. But when you live in a place that's cold uh, the majority of the year, um, the, any kind of hot weather is hard to adapt to. Ah, I'm sponsored. I'm fucking sponsored by Cream Soda. <laughs> okay. So, it's 80 Neil deGrasse Tyson's outside. You don't know what I mean by that? I'm saying it's uh, 80 degrees. Instead of saying degrees, I'm saying deGrasse Tyson. Because you know who he is. You fucking know... Who the fuck I'm talking about? Okay? And I got my pop pop filter back on. BAM! I found the I found the thing. I found the little dookie duper. The pooper scoop. Bom 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 bom. Let's just get this screen rolling. <sighs> Scooped the burp right out of me. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got um a list of lists of lists. <laughs> okay, see this? It's a list of lists of lists. Lists. Lisp. People with a lisp can't say list. You know why? Because they suck. We got a we got a fucking list of erotic films. We got a list of fantasy films. We got a list of horror horror films. This is a chronological list of horror films split by decades. Often there may be considerable overlap, blah, blah, blah. No one cares. We all know how a list works. Ah, we got to find a good list of lists, though. List of Simpsons publications? You see that? List of Canadian television networks. List of artists, list of painters, games. List of free games. List of Nintendo games. Boom, 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 boom. This, this works perfect. Do you remember back in the Dizzy getting your first freaking Nintendo? I'm talking either the NES or Super Nintendo or Nintendo 64. Or GameCube, well, GameCube is kind of like right on the border, and then anything after that is not very memorable to my generation. But I mean, back in the day, when you were a young lad, and you got yourself a Nintendo, it was, and it was always at Christmas time, when you get that bitch, oh, did you hear that? I farted. When you get that Nintendo, it is... <clears throat> it is a great feeling. And you'll never forget that moment. Ah, unless you don't like Nintendo. But, but, uh, you're stupid if you don't like it. Okay. N64. Where's the, that's the SNES, and there's the NES. 
We got all kinds of lists. Let's do all three of them. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do three. Yeah, I went GameCube, then Wii, then Wii U. Bullshit is what I say. Even though I don't, I don't mind the Wii. I like the Wii U. 1080 snowboarding came out in 1998. That was a great year. Any day in the 90s was a great day. A great day for men living on a sand and den. Batman. Batman Beyond. Return of the Joker. Beetle Adventure Racing. Big Mountain. I don't know most. Oh, I know Bomberman. Blues Brothers. Bugs Life. Oh. Oh. They're not a watch. I know. I, I've definitely played that Bugs Life game. Bust a move. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Say what? I say bust a move. You want. You got it. You got to stop that. You'll get copyright claim. Castlevania, Chameleon Twist, never heard of that. Charlie Blasts Territory. There's so many companies that make games. Conquer's Bad for a Day. Now that is a fucking beautiful game. Oh my god. I've got plenty of memories with Conquer. A, that was a great, 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 great game. Excite Bike. Did I just see Excite Bite? I did. And Elmo's Number Journey. And Elmo's Letter Adventure. Elmo had two games. Duke Nukem. Duck Dodgers. Starring Daffy Duck. Is that the one I'm thinking of? No. I'm thinking of the one for the SNES. Which was... Was all right. Dr. Mario or Mario. I don't know how to say it. Uh, 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 hey, you, Pikachu. What is this? Jik Jikyo Powerful Pro. Yakyu. There's friggin' six, seven, eight of them. What? There's no, there's. One, two, three, four, five. There's only six. Is it only sold? Oh, it's a baseball game. Look at my initials. They're all over the place here. Oh, Japan. That's what. Okay. So it is only sold in Japan. Screw you. Look at all the Mario's. Fuck that shit was the best. Oh, that shit was so good. You want it? Well, you got it. Oh, man, I'm starting to sweat. I gotta stop moving around. It's 27 degrees outside, global warming. I'm telling you, we're gonna die. We're all gonna fucking melt to death. And here's Conquer right here. Look at this. Look at this shit. Let me zoom in. How do you zoom in? Uh huh, huh, huh. There we go. Look at that. I love the magic mouse. Conquer's bad for a day. Uh, it was not for children. Even though it may look like it's for children, it is definitely not for children. Although I've definitely played it as a child. Rated M for Mature. It's a squirrel who likes to drink and smoke and fuck and curse. Oh, it's a oh, it's such a good game. It was it came out on Xbox too, and that's what I had it for. Wait. Yeah, and there was like there's two different modes. You could play like a Call of Duty style where you're fighting in World War II, and there's, look, it even says right here, you're fighting in a war 
between gray squirrels and Nazi-like group of teddy bears called the Teddies. It's so cool. There's snipers you can pick. It, uh, and I fucking got rid of my Xbox and the game. I actually rented it from Blockbuster and never gave it back. And I never had to pay a late fee because Blockbuster went away. If I would have known that, if I would have known that was going to happen, I would have rented all kinds of movies and just not brought them back. Because the, the, the renting price was much cheaper than the purchasing price. <laughs> you know? Did you know that? If you remember... Fucking blockbuster. <laughs> Woo! Man, that shit was fun too. If you wanted to play a new video game, you'd go rent it. You'd have to go drive. You'd have to get your parents to drive you to blockbuster. And you'd have to convince them to rent you this game. And they'd look at it and say, this doesn't look like a children's game. And you'd have to convince them that it was. And, you know, you... Usually they would just get it. They 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 would know you're bullshitting them, but they'd get it for you anyway. Unless your parents were like really religious or something, and then you wouldn't ever have a chance to play it unless you went to your friend's house. Which I was the friend who had all the nasty games, and the children who didn't get to play got to come play it at my house. It was pretty cool, I must say. Wiki loves Earth. Look, speaking of global warming, Wiki Loves Earth is an international photo contest of natural protected areas. All it takes to participate is to find a protected area nearby, photograph it, and submit a photo for the competition. You can win a prize. What's the prize? Oh, yeah, of course. Look at these fucking winners. Like, what the hell? Of course this guy's going to win. And how is that? It's in Russian. International winner of 2018. Come on, man. These are all like professional photographs. You can't expect the average person to to snap these beautiful pics. Well, I guess they can if they got a nice phone. Because the phones do take nice pictures. But you gotta be. You gotta be in the place. You got Jasper National Pike. Banff. Two Canadians and another Banff. Wow, and another Banff, and another Banff, and a Jasper. Holy! Oh, because it's all Canadian, that's why. <laughs> it says Canadian winners, you stupid. All these are Canadian. You just don't recognize them, you fucking loser. I gotta slow down, I'm starting to sweat. A slug eating a mushroom in the forest? Of, uh, oh, yeah, baby. of Mount Seymour Provincial Park in British Columbia. A small group of bighorn sheep. Damn. Hold oh, him some good looking sheep. Look at those goddamn sheep. Wow. Now that's a sheep. That's a goddamn sheep. If I say so myself. Oh no! Eh. Oh sh shite. Mm. Let's get back into here. I want to. I want to see some more of these. Jury. Ho hoodoo's. I was fucking here yesterday. Literally, I was here yesterday. It didn't look like that while I was there. I was in the daytime. But this place is fantastic. It's in a place called Drumheller. Dinosaurs. Like, the whole city is revolves around dinosaurs. There's dinosaur statues everywhere. Because dinosaur bones were found there. Lots of them. And there's these cool things called hoodoos. Because I guess... All this area was underwater a long time ago. 
I mean, there's these weird statue structures here, and it's so cool. And I was there. I was literally there yesterday. Up here at a campsite at Sydney Spit. I'm Canadian. I could fucking take a picture of something and send it in. Participate. You can participate to Wiki Loves Earth by taking photos of recognized natural areas and uploading them. I would love to. What is this? Oh, I thought that was like a crocodile or something. Nope. What does jury mean? All submitted pictures will be judged by a Canadian jury. The top 10 pictures selected by this jury will be submitted in the international Wiki Loves Earth jury. And here's the members. Yves Gadet. He's a photograph. I think that means he's a photographer. Not a, he's not a photograph. Well, he might be. Maybe they just got a bunch of pictures of people. Wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. Robert Rocha. He's a journaliste. <laughs> Why did they spell it like that? He's a journaliste. Marcella Mejia. He, she or, or he is a photography. Line Fontaine is also a photography. Lee Kim Chattanoof is a photograph. Jacques Nedou is a photojournalist. Now that's a f finally someone with the actual proper title. Guy Rochette is a photography. Antoine Letarte. That's a great name. Antoine Letarte. I wonder if he got made fun of in school. He's a photograph. And Alan McInnes, photojournalist. The Gazette. Oh, criteria. Here are the following criteria. Technically qu technical quality, sharpness, use of light, perspective, etc. What's the etc.? Originality, including angle of view, uniqueness, and choice of the subject. Okay, none of those pictures were unique. I've seen those pictures a hundred times. Usefulness of the pictures for Wikimedia projects. Is the picture useful to illustrate a Wikipedia article? You know what? I'm going to go take a fucking picture of something. Uh, I, have a, I have an account. But I'm not logged in. It's been a while. Links. So there you go, people. If you're... You don't even have to be Canadian, I don't think. Because there was a Russian feller. It said international winners. Look, I'll show you. Show you on the homepage here. One second. I just got to make a little note. I got to make a note. Discovered this by accident. And I think it's kind of cool. Where was I? International winner, right here. You see? That, does this word, this word looks German to, uh, or <laughs> Russian to me. Let's see, more details. It's all Russian. See, Russia. Russia. Is that the only international winner? Yeah. So if you're Canadian, you can have, uh, you have one out of ten chance of getting getting displayed here. But if you're international, you only have one shot. There's only one international person they accept, it looks like. So. It's cause, that's because they love Canadians. Everyone loves Canadians. If you don't love Canadians, then there's something wrong with you. What do we got here? NES games. There's fucking bazillion. I'm starting to sweat. Ooh. Oh man, it's hot. I got the SNES, which has like even more games, it looks like. 
Zoop is the very last one. Zoop, there it is. Don't ever look up a list of lists. You'll regret it. You'll goddamn regret it. You will fucking regret it. You're gonna regret that shit. What did I say? I don't even know what I just said. What are you gonna regret? I gotta roll up the sleeves and stop moving around. That's what I gotta do. Oh, that's tight. Oh, that's tight. Oh, that's tight. Oh, shit. I'm starting to sweat. Oh, boy. I don't know how y'all do it in California. I see people all the time wearing sweaters. In California. Even fat guys are wearing sweaters in California. Any time of the year in California for me is too hot. Ah. But I definitely want to go there. Let's go. Let's go right now. Hop on a plane and go to California. Nothing like a squeaky chair. Am I right? Nothing like a squeaky chair. Because there's nothing like a squeaky chair. Oh yeah. Nothing like a squeaky chair. Should we, um, I don't have a very big list today. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I've just been running late on podcasts, and this one was kind of like, oh, I got to do it, or else I'm going to fall behind, which which sounds like I'm just f- doing this to just to do it, which I'm not. Well, maybe I am. I don't know. What does it matter? Okay? Why do you care? Uh, Take that. You fucking... Bologna sandwich? You like bologna sandwiches? You know what's really good? When you're a child? You fry a piece of bologna in a pan. Yes. Some may think that's weird, but... Try it. Fry a piece of bologna in pan, and then put it on a on a piece of bread with mayonnaise and cheese, and then eat it. And tell me what you think. But you have to be twelve or younger. Whoops. What the hell am I doing? Reddit. Jesus Christ. It's hard to multitask. Oh. Who do we have here? Daniel Radcliffe. He is such a Radcliffe. He's walking dogs. I've seen this photo before. I think it was for a movie he was in. It had to have been. Let's see. I'm pretty sure. He was in a movie, smoking a cigarette, watching a bun- walking a bunch of dogs. They're all tied to his waist. And look at the women in the background. They're peeking over at him. And they're smiling. Ugh. What's this? I gotta see what this is. Ah! Guns Akimbo. That's a great, great little Photoshop. What is this? Oh, this is the Photoshop battles. Um, Subrudut. Class trip? Hell yeah. All the Harry Potter characters. Well, not all of them. I don't watch Harry Potter. Next, whatever merchandise I buy next from a YouTuber, it's got to be a fucking t-shirt. I'm starting to sweat. And I don't like it. 
Okay, let's do one more Photoshop of this. This doesn't even look Photoshopped. Oh, there he is right there. You see it? You see it? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta look. You gotta fucking look right away. Winter is coming. Yes, I love promotions. Borneo earless monitors resemble real life dragons. They do. That does look like a fucking dragon. If I do say so myself. You want some new pink grapefruit? Sunripe Slim? Take time. Take 10. Sunripe Slim. 10 calories. Only 10 calories. Just one gram of sugar. Sunripe Slim. Full on flavor. Only 10 calories. Try our new pink grapefruit flavor. Okay. The moment I realized this vase couldn't be saved. Uh-oh. Did she fuck it up? She fucked it up. She turned it into a plate. Went from pot to plate. Looks like your hands are covered in shit. Literal diarrhea. Oh, I should put my headphones on. Ow! Gosh. That's gonna break your back, buddy. Oh, shit! No! Fuck, that would hurt. Oh, my Jesus. My mom accidentally left her mirror in the front window over the day, and it burned. Ho! Oh. Damn! Why did I click on that? Could have burnt your house down. Holy crap. The difference. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. The water in both tanks is from the same place. Same time, same place. Same time, time, time. The tank on the right has oysters. And the oysters clean the water. Oh, I've seen this one. This one's not even worth watching. And neither is this one. Ah! Segpus. Toby is a very happy cat. He just has Ellers Danlos, loose skin syndrome. Ugh. That's friggin' weird. We're out here doing bad shit. N word. Okay. What's this? Brock the Rapist. Oh, I remember this guy. Brock the Rapist Turner lost his appeal. I want to see this. Brock Turner, a former Stanford swimmer who was convicted of sexual assault back in 2016, but served only three months in prison, lost his appeal on Wednesday. He will have to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. Yeah. Shouldn't have did it, Brock. Should have left her alone, Brock. Should have fucking left her alone. Three months is really not enough, but this is at least better than nothing. His life is completely ruined, so there's also that. Brock Turner the Rapist's life is ruined? Hey, I think I've heard of that Brock Turner the Rapist guy. Didn't he rape someone? He's a rapist, you say? Rape? Yes, Brock Turner. The Brock Turner that raped a woman behind a dumpster and made a grown-ass man cry at the sight. Brock Turner the dumpster racist? Ah, uh, yes. I hear he's a rapist. Okay. That joke literally goes on for two hours. I think I might have shown this guy. But maybe not. There goes the beer. Gam! He looks pissed. You killed what? A leaf? That's a leaf. Remember this episode? Corporations Pride Month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Fucking, they really shove Pride Month right in your face. Every one of them. Something to poot in your ass. <laughs> wow, that's a nice butt plug. Minimalist deck of playing cards. Nice. Those are beautiful. I falsified drug test results when I worked at a DNA lab. I would do it again if given the opportunity. 
Cool. What does Ethan say? A reminder that the Catholic Church is responsible for the systemic sexual abuse of thousands of children. And if there is one place I wouldn't want my children to be is alone with a Catholic priest. And this Bishop Thomas Tobin says, which this was Ethan's reply to this, which I should have read this first. But anyway, a reminder that Catholics should not support or attend LGBTQ Pride Month events held in June. They promote a culture and encourage activities that are contrary to Catholic faith and morals. They are especially harmful for children. There you go. Uh, 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 uh. What the hell is this? Anthony Joshua in 2012 versus Andy Ruiz in 2012. What? What? Me chilling after I took a shit. I don't. Okay, I, I don't. I don't get it. Damn, boy, that was a good flip. Did someone go to prom? Happy summer. What are you doing tonight? How's your dogs? What are you doing this weekend? How's Jessica? Do you like Katy Perry? <laughs> Someone did go to prom. Happy so, jeez. It's it's so ridiculous watching old people try to use Facebook. Like they literally have no idea what the fuck they're doing. This is a a status post, and she thought she was talking to someone. Oh what? I have my mom's car. She keeps earrings in the cup holder. Yeah. Uh, 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 shouldn't have got Dunkin' Donuts. Ooh, that's a nice airplane. Wait, that's is that CGI? It says CGI render. So it's an airplane painted in matte black. So was it just a regular airplane and you CGI painted it black or what? Slaps roof of computer. This baby has less RAM than the first iPhone. Every school district. I'll take your entire stock. To Yenemet Square. Before the infamous picture. The guy is in the top left. Oh, there he is. Look, there he is. You see him? He's just fucking... He's got his shit in his hand. And then here comes the tank over here. Damn, that's cool. What's this guy doing? Is he running? Or is he... This guy's smiling. And doesn't look like he's running. But this guy looks like he's panicking and running for his life. This guy's pushing some dirt. And this guy's on his bike. So everyone looks calm except for this guy. But this guy's the one who... Who stops the, the tanks? Oh, Chernobyl helicopter crash. Oh, God! Little boy spotted. Oh, I see him in the pouch. In the, in the purse. Look at all them people, though. Oh, that is a puss in boots. That's a real puss, and that's a real boot. Oh, Lil Nas, what does he have to say? I've decided to change the album artwork after being accused of stealing. Here's the new one. Happy to share it with you guys. Oh, what did the old one look like? I, I didn't even see it. Why is he pretending to be a cowboy? Well, it's making him money, that's why, you stump. Gosh, I went to the store to get some groceries and I unexpectedly met Tom Hardy. Oh, that's Tom Hardy. He ended up paying for all my stuff and even carried them. What? Why? Why would he pay for your shit? Maybe he wants to bang you. Have you thought about that? Maybe you guys did. Oh, this is cool. I saw this earlier today. Fucking Buster Keaton. Look at this shit. Watch, watch all the goddamn... Stunts he does. 
It's pretty crazy. This is all, and it's all real. Like, they didn't have the technology we have today to fucking fake it. This is all real shiznit. He was a great guy. And apparently, he died of cancer when he was 70. He didn't die doing any of this crazy shit. He died when he was fucking 70. And this here is sketchy. The train is moving slow, but still. If his leg would have slipped into one of those little cracks there, his leg would have got fucking mangled. Like, he would have got crushed still. And this part here, bop. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> and this, this is funny shit. I don't know how they got that much wind. But look at that. He's leaning all the way forward. <laughs> and of course, it's all over exaggerated because it, it was the 19 whatever's 30s, maybe. This guy's crazy. Right here's crazy, too. Look at this shit. And this. This doesn't even make sense to me what's about to happen. Ugh. Like, that must fucking hurt, if that's real. And why did that girl trust him? Oh, Buster. You're such a Keaton. Shippity doop ah, zippity day. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Well, fucks. We're gonna have to end it right there. I'm sweating like a pig on a horseradish. And I'm not ending it just because I'm hot. I'm ending it because we literally talked about it all. I ran this card at a juice. And guess what, folks? Next episode is going to be the... Whoever's watching this obviously grew up with a TV and ha has had a TV in their life. We've all been through that point, unless you're really old. And it just got me thinking, like, television 